This is the starboard. So this is the portion that goes between the x-ray table and the mattress on top of the x-ray table. The starboard is aligned to the patient's shoulder. The patient can assist by rolling to their left side. This is the star table. As you can see, there's a portion that slides underneath the mattress, and then there's a vertical component that provides lead protection to reduce radiation exposure to the operator. There's then a table component that locks into the first component with an interlocking system and also provides an adjustable table for the operator. The assembled star table is then placed underneath the mattress in between the tabletop and positioned appropriately. And the arm is placed in the handle. The handle is then turned and the wrist is hyper-extended to provide optimal positioning of the radial artery for puncture. Once radial artery access has been obtained, the hyperextension is removed from the wrist. The handle is turned and the forearm is moved medially and aligned with the working surface of the star table, which can be adjusted to optimum position. Once the arm is draped, the handle is then turned laterally and the wrist hyperextended to provide optimum positioning for radial artery puncture. Once radial artery access has been obtained, the hyperextension is removed from the wrist and the handle turned medially and the forearm is then moved medially to align parallel with the cath lab table. left-sided axis, the starboard is positioned with aligning to the left shoulder. The arm is then positioned in the starboard and the wrist hyperextended to allow optimal radial artery puncture. Once radial artery access has been obtained, hyperextension is removed from the wrist, the arm turned in medially, and then the forearm and the arm are removed with the accompanying drape and placed across the lower abdomen. When positioning the arm support, it is important that the inner clip of the arm support is positioned first as close to the forearm support as possible and clicked back into position. The entire starboard is then moved medially to lie parallel with the cath lab table. The arm support has an adjustable lever that provides adjustable height and angulation so that the left arm can be positioned in an optimum position that is both comfortable for the patient but also in an optimum working position for the operator. The arm support can be disengage from the slider arm as follows. Once radial artery access is obtained, the hyperextension is removed from the wrist, the handle turned medially, and then the hand is removed from the handle and the entire arm with accompanying drape positioned over the lower abdomen. The arm support is then positioned into place and can be adjusted to optimum position to allow optimum comfort for the patient and working position for the operator.